and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another makeup look for you all because you all know I love makeup so, so much. Um, and I'm going to be using four products um, that W7 kindly sent me. If you don't know what W7 is, it's an amazing, really, really inexpensive and good quality makeup brand. So I was very, very kindly sent four of their makeup products for me to show you and talk to you about. I definitely re recommend W7 and this video is sponsored um, but all opinions are my own and I wouldn't give you any false recommendations or anything like that. I literally love these so much and I do rec definitely recommend them, like truthfully, they are amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be showing you a makeup look including these products um, apart from the brow pencil because I'll tell you about that in the video because um, it's too dark for me. Um, I just told you now. Okay, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to become an evening and yeah I love you all so much and let's get on with the video so I'm going to start off by using my Maybelline Baby Skin Primer which I use in like every video because it's alive and Cordy gave me this and she asked me to tell you that so thanks Cordy next I'm going to be using my Barry M Natural Glow Shadow Primer thingy palette and I'm going to use the primer for my eyelids I really like this primer. It's Why? Really good. Because. Why? I need it. <laughs> we need explanation. Oh, I don't. You use a lot. Do primers need to match your skin colour? Probably. We don't well, have green one, are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, but we like that one. Is that how does he do that? Have a shade? Color. Do you want? Oh, okay. So next I'm going to use my Rimmel London BB Cream and this is in the shade light and I know this says like it primes and everything as well but I wanted to go for double priming um, because I feel like BB Creams just prime a tiny bit like they don't do full on priming which is what I need in my life so everything stays on. I'm just going to put this on the back of my hand like a bit of foundation. Oh what? Oh okay. I just put a massive clump. Okay. I'm going to use put this on so you can close this um i really usually get like a buffing brush i wouldn't want to get the real techniques buffing brush i'm using my real techniques uh, miracle complexion sponge as i'm filming this it's the day the giveaway ended so and congratulations to the winner daisies here yeah Disney which Disney makes Disney it so much nicer <laughs> it brings light vibes to the room i really like bb cream oh really <laughs> no because it gets like BB cream gives like a really nice light coverage. Okay, I'm gonna just blend it in. So, um, I'm gonna tell you all the channels I used to have so you can search them up. Um, so, um, the first channel is um, LPS Lovers 89, which is with me and Daisy. And if you know the littlest <laughs> pet shops, the little toys, and we used to do little storylines with them um, when we were like nine. And then Eight and nine. Uh, the fan oh. calls, which is if you play Animal Jam, it's like the fan calls. She was obsessed I did, like, Animal with Animal Jam. Jam. I was obsessed. I went out every day. Every day. Block no joke. She was on it. Um, but yeah, I did. I have a channel for that, which I did like a giveaway on with, with like a spike and yeah. Who <laughs> gave it to me? Uh. Uh. Um. Uh. I don't uh, think I have anymore. No. I have um. I had, used to have, I um, had um, Beavers Gaming, oh, which I did at the beginning. <laughs> I had zero subscribers, and I was like, everyone requested me to do this video, and I just... Yeah, to play what that Mario Beavers game, game. where you always lose. Okay. Oh, I'm yeah. going to use <laughs> to made own theme my Rummel London Wake Me Up Concealer, and this is my favourite concealer ever, and it's in the shade 030 Classic Beige, and I'm just going to put this, like, whatever the BB cream didn't cover, so on any spots, blemishes, or, like, under my eyes, or anything like that. Scientifically proven. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Why'd you do it like that? <laughs> it's a life funny. hack. And yeah. also my eyelids, even though I did put primer on, but oh um, the primer I used it doesn't really cover up um like veins as much. So. Using the Real Techniques concealer brush. Right? Oh, that was good. Yeah. My birthday soon. Yeah. I'll get it for you for your birthday. Okay. Next, um, I forgot to do at the beginning, I'm applying a lip balm to like moisturise my lips for the lip product I'm going to put on at the end. This is the Baby Lips um, in Candy Kiss and it's one of the new Valentine's ones. And it's just, it looks like it has a colour but it's just clear and it's got sparkles in it but it doesn't really matter what it looks like on my lips, just I need that moisture. Um, so next I'm going to be using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade 004 Sandstorm. This is my absolute favourite powder, I love it so so much and out of all the powders I've used, most of them are cakey but this one is like not cakey at all. So I'm just going to set my BB cream and then my concealer and this is my big Primark powder brush and I love it. 
So next, um, I'm going on to my first W7 product. I'm going to be showing to you the W7 Twist and Shape Eyebrow Pencil in Dark Brown. Um, I'm not actually going to be using this today because it's too dark and um, when um, they sent the products to me they obviously didn't know my eyebrow shade so they sent me one that I think is probably one shade darker than my eyebrows which makes my eyebrows look too drawn on like and dark um, but I did try this and I definitely definitely recommend it for people because um, I, I think they do have other shades but they just sent me the wrong one. Um, but yeah, this is just amazing. When I did try it, it was amazing. It was like, the consistency was amazing. It brushed out. It was all smooth. Um, so this is what the applicator looks like. And it's just slanted so you can get through your brows really easily with like brush marks. And if I just show you a little swatch on my hand, and I don't know why I've got three swatches. It's here. It's, it's really, really creamy and easy to apply. And then on the other side, it has a brow pencil, which is makes it really easy to brush out your brows. Um, so yeah, as I said, I'm not going to be using the brow pencil. I'll use the brush though, but I do recommend this. Um, just make sure you get um, the shade that um, suits you because obviously this is too dark for me. So to actually fill in my eyebrows, I'm going to be using my collection eyebrow kit in the shade Blonde. I got this from Superdrug about, I think it was last week. Yeah, last week. Well, last weekend. And I, it's amazing. It comes with a little mirror up here, three different shades, a little gel, and then the thing. I don't use the gel because it makes my eyebrows really, like... I don't like the way it makes my eyebrows feel. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be using a mix of the two lightest colours. And I really don't fill in my eyebrows too much. I just fill in the sparse areas. So I'm just going to take the slanted side of the brush, which is just a small synthetic black hair stuff. And I'm going to put a tiny bit just on the sparse areas. But you can't really tell it's on that much. But it's just very natural. No, she won't show us. Oh, I'll just look in here. This concealer looks really bad. Sparse areas. So I filled in my eyebrows very lightly. My eyebrows are normally quite bushy, so I only wanted to just fill in a couple like sparse areas that I had. Um, but yeah, I do recommend this W7 <laughs> thing because um, when I did try it, apart from the colour, it was amazing. So I definitely recommend it. And now I've done my eyebrows, I'm going to go on to doing some eyeshadow. I'm going to be using this sleek all natural 601 palette so this is you get this is what it looks like you get 12 colors and it's a really good mixture so you could take this for like traveling to do different looks every day because it's just got really nice and versatile colors um i'm gonna start off by using um this like champagne -y, uh like silvery like color gold. and i'm gonna put this all over my eyelid just to act as like a base and to give my eyes a little bit of sparkle. I'm going to use this color. It's like a sparkly purple color. And I'm just going to put a tiny bit of that in my crease with the um, Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. Okay, so that is like the main eyeshadow I'm using. And then I'm just going to use just this matte white color just in my inner corner to brighten up my eyes and also my brow bone. I'm going to be using my Real Techniques, this is such a cute brush, the Accent Brush, which is a tiny round brush. Um, I think it's a flat one. And then I'm just going to put that just right in my inner corner just to brighten it up a little bit. And then, now I'm going to do mascara. I'm going to be using the W7 Groovy, groovy Curls Eyelash Curler, which looks like this. And I was really excited when I received this because the one I have from Primark is getting a little bit, like, I don't know, it's just getting old. a bit old now and, like, I've got, like, mascara, like, in the little bits of it and it's really hard to wash now because it's just kind of keeps happening. Um, so I'm using, I've got a new one. I'm really happy about this. So this looks like this and it's just pink. Um, and the only thing about this is that it's quite hard to like, it's quite stiff, but I kind of, I've kind of got used to it, so it's kind of easier to push down now. Um, so I'm just going to curl my eyelashes with this. It's really, really nice and it really opens up my eyelashes ready for mascara. Speaking of mascara, I'm going to be using my um, Maybelline Great Lash, which is my favourite mascara of all time. It is amazing. And it doesn't, I don't like too much volume with my mascara. I just like a little bit of definition and volume. So I just use this one because it, do, it doesn't like make it like crazy. But it gives nice length as well because I prefer length than volume. 
Okay, so this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's just, it gives like a really light amount of volume and I'm just obsessed with it. Oh my gosh, guys, literally, I do recommend that you go out and get this because it is just so easy to apply and it's just, it's amazing. So um, now I've done that, I'm gonna do a little bit of blush, like contour bronzing, um, and I'm gonna be using Now I'm going to be using um, Apricot Flush, which is a gorgeous, like, apricot-y colour, and it's just shimmery, and it's amazing. And I'm just going to take this, oh yeah, this is my Technic Slanted Blusher Brush, and I love this. And so now I've done that, you can probably tell I like to go for a really, really natural um, uh, contour bronzer or whatever. Um, I'm just going to take the big powder brush again um, just to make sure it's all blended in and I don't have any harsh lines. So now going on to my lips, um, um, I was sent by W7. The two last products are two lip products. Um, first of all I have the W7 Kiss Chase lipstick in the shade also I think this is, which is a really like cool name. Um, this uh, is just a bright bright pink colour. It's I have literally no shades like this, um, but I'm going to do a swatch of this. This is the most creamiest thing ever, and it's so, so pigmented. I really do recommend their lipsticks, even if it, you don't want to get this colour. Um, that I think they've got lots of other colours. It is amazing. Um, and then my favourite product out of all of them I sent me, they sent me, um, the W7 Tinted Kiss Tinted Nourishing Lip Oil in the shade English Rose. Um, this is kind of like a lip gloss, and it's not sticky at all, literally. Um, in my opinion, it's not sticky at all, and it smells like watermelon, um, and it's just a really, really sheer, glossy, pinky colour, and I'm going to put both of these on to show you what they look like. Um, so, first of all, I'm going to put on the lipstick in the shade Awesome. This goes on so easily, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. Literally. I am not lying when I say I'm obsessed with it. Is that even though it's super pigmented, you can apply it lighter if you like just kind of like a sheer colour, or you can apply full on, which is kind of what I'm going for, like in the middle, uh, just to your preference. Um, so I put this on, as you can see, it, I don't know if it definitely goes with the makeup look, um, but it is an amazing colour, it's so, so moisturising, it's not a lipstick that dries out your lips, I really do recommend it, I didn't expect and sort of because W7 is quite a inexpensive brand that it would be like an amazing lipstick. But seriously, it's basically the same like formula as the MAC um, Cream Sheen lipsticks, just a bit more creamy. Um, and it's amazing. I do recommend these lipsticks. Um, and now I'm going to put on the lip roll, which I'm going to uh, keep because I don't think this pink lipstick goes with my look really. Oh no, the lipstick. That's a nice colour. What um, colour? There's awesome. Where? The pink one I was just said on. Where? Oh, that looks better, I think. I can't see it where. You're a bit blind, aren't you? Mm. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'll let you off. Can see yeah, it. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so see. So, this is what um, the lip oil looks like. I am obsessed with this. This is my favourite out of all the products, as I said. It's just really, really nice. It's not too crazy and it's not too subtle and it's just a really nice just rosy colour so you could wear this to school even if you're not allowed to wear makeup or you could if your parents don't really allow you to wear makeup you could ask if you could just get one of these it's super inexpensive and it's just so moisturising it has an amazing colour and this goes with literally every look so I definitely recommend the lip oils um, so um, if you like to look these up the W7 Tinted Kiss um, tinted nourishing lip oil and I have the shade English Rose this is English Rose on my lips right now um, so that is the finished makeup look I'm just going to take my hair down because so that is the end of my little makeup look makeup tutorial whatever you'd like to call it and I hope you enjoyed this video I definitely definitely do recommend the W7 makeup products especially the lip products I'm just obsessed with them and they are so amazing and I have loved W7 even before they sponsored me um, so I haven't just found them out from the sponsor um, I've loved them before and they're just so affordable and they do such amazing dupes so I definitely definitely recommend you go and check them out maybe buy a few products I will leave all the links down below all the information so you can go and check that out I'd also just like to say a little disclaimer that I don't want this much makeup
makeup every day because um, I've seen comments on videos like people my age wearing this much, people saying it's too much. This is just what I wear on like special occasions or for videos or something like that um, and on a normal day I'd wear like mascara lip gloss or something so yeah um, I hope you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big big thumbs up if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video bye hey guys it's Evie and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day makeup look for you all um, so if you are going on Valentine's Day and you have no idea <laughs> Okay. Oh, do I turn my phone on silent? Yeah. We're doing. Oh, are you talking in it? If you want to, mm -hmm. okay. if you want to listen to stuff, you can put the headphones on. The so mess. Ah. Where are they? Not in here. Right. Bye, guys. <laughs> Does that?